Hello, my name is Viani. And in this video, my team and I will conduct several experiments on acid-base indicators. Now before we begin, let's review a little about the definitions of acids and bases, which will be explained by my friend Daniela. What are acids and bases? Acid is a compound that tastes tangy and is corrosive when it meets metal. It has a pH level lower than 7. Acids can commonly be found in sour fruits such as lemons and apples. While base is a compound that tastes bitter and is slippery when you touch it. It has a pH level higher than 7. Bases can be found in cleaning products such as detergents and bleaches. How to identify an acid or base solution? In this experiment, we will be using various natural indicators, which are substances that can be easily found in nature, to determine whether a solution is acidic or basic. Of course, there are other types of indicators as well aside from natural indicators. For example, litmus paper, pH meter, and a universal indicator. To make a grape indicator, you will need a strainer, a bowl, and a big spoon. First, remove the grapes from the stems and collect them to a bowl. Then, mash the grapes until the juices start to come out. You can also cut the grapes into smaller pieces to help. Finally, drain the product to separate the bigger pieces and the juice itself. After conducting the experiment, we see that grape juice turns acids into a pinkish color and bases into a greenish color. So in conclusion, 
Grapes can be used as a natural indicator for both acids and bases. To make a dragon fruit indicator, you'll need a spoon, water, containers, and a strainer. First, cut up the dragon fruit and separate the insides from the skin. Then, crush the insides to make a smooth paste. You can add water to make it easier. Finally, filter the product so you can remove the chunks and only get the liquid. From this experiment, we can conclude that dragon fruits can be used as a natural indicator for both acids and bases. We can see that when we mix baking soda with the indicator, it turns into a shade of purple which tells us that it's a base. Meanwhile, when we mix apple juice with the indicator, it turns into a maroon color which tells us that it's an acid. This means the solutions that are basic will change color into shades of purple and blue. And solutions that are acidic will change color and turn into, and turn into shades of maroon. To make a red cabbage indicator, you need to prepare a bowl, a strainer, and hot water. To make a red cabbage indicator, first you need to slice the red cabbage into small pieces, then soak the red cabbage in hot water and wait for the water to turn purple. Finally, filter the purple water to make sure there are no red cabbage pieces left inside the indicator. After conducting the experiment, in conclusion, red cabbage can be used as a natural indicator for both acids and bases. Here are the tools and materials that we need. We need a lemon, an apple, vinegar, seven glasses, some turmeric, toothpaste, baking soda, and detergent. We also need a strainer, a knife, a measuring cup, and also a pestle and mortar. Firstly, peel the turmeric skin. Then, cut it into smaller pieces so we can mash it easier. Once it is cut to smaller pieces, pour enough water into the mortar. And then, mash it until it's finely ground. the finely ground turmeric to produce turmeric extract. Then pour the predetermined solutions that we've gathered from each materials into each glasses. Next, pour the turmeric extract into each of the glasses and observe the reaction that happens. As we can see, the detergent solution turned into a darker color when turmeric extract is being poured to its glass. From the results that we've obtained, we can conclude that turmeric can be used as a base indicator. Now, let's move on to our discussion about acid-base indicators. What is an acid-base indicator? Acid or base indicators are complex compounds that react to acids and bases. With these indicators, we can determine whether a substance is an acid or a base. These indicators are divided into a few types, natural and universal indicators, and the most commonly used being the litmus paper and the pH meter. In our experiments, we use natural indicators. Natural indicators are indicators that are made from plant extracts such as flowers, roots, fruit skin, as well as colored leaves. 
Different from natural indicators, universal ones are a mix of different indicators that show the pH of a solution from the way the color changes. What criteria should be met to be an acid-base indicator? One of the criteria to be an acid-base indicator is to have high stability. The substance that we use must have stable properties, meaning that it can be easily changed and damaged by external influences. If the substance is unstable, it can change the value of changes in pH. This causes failure in the acid-base identification process. The second criteria is to have a significant color change. A good acid-base indicator should have a significant color change for both acidic and basic solutions. When the color change is very slight, it will be difficult for us to determine whether a solution is acidic or basic. However, if the indicator has a significant color change for acidic and basic solutions, then it can make it easier for us to analyze the acidity and the alkalinity of a solution. Based on the results that we've obtained from this experiment, we can conclude that natural indicators such as grapes, turmeric, dragon fruit, and many more could be used to determine whether a solution is acidic or basic.